you ever feel like you got to keep up with the Joneses and keep up with all these brands and you find yourself spending tons of money on things that you can't afford to impress the people that you don't know? Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> got it! <he>. Got it! <he. laughs> I personally like to DIY a lot of things that are popular. So today's DIY series is going to be based off of Nike and you only need three things. So first, of course, you need to print your Nike logo. I have two different sizes here. I have a big size because depending on where I want it to fit on my shirt. You guys see? <laughs> And then I have a smaller size, so I'll probably go with the bigger size, to be honest. Iron on transfer sheets. I got this from Michaels. This brand to me is honestly like my favorite brand. It's the Tulip Fashion Glitter brand. Of course, you don't have to get glitter, but for the look I'm going for, I wanted to get glitter. They have tons of colors, all kinds of colors, so you can pick whatever color you want. And I think this is like $4.99, which... <laughs> That's my budget. Of course, you will need a pair of scissors. And I have a little bit of OCD and I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So I always go in with my X-Acto knife just to make sure that my edges are really crisp. I should stop waving this around. I like to make sure that my edges are really crisp so everything looks nice and clean and it actually looks like I bought this shirt from the Nike store. And if you see me wearing this shirt, don't question me. I'm just kidding, I really don't care. So first, of course, you know, just cut out your Nike sign, but you just want to make sure you're being very careful and you're cutting everything separate except for the E with the check because the letter E is connected to the check. So make sure you're just being very careful about that and you're not cutting it off completely. Next is where you can opt in to use the X-Acto knife. And I will be using it to cut out the rest of the white part. Just being more precise and getting each letter exact. You wanna place the letters backwards onto the back of the transfer sheet. So you're gonna flip it over and place it down and you're gonna spell the word backwards. So one more time and again, flip it over, place it down. Should end up with something like this. If you made it this far, yay! You should have something that looks like this. So this is the front and this is the back. And don't mind my E being a little off and my lines being a little sketched over here. That totally contradicts what I just said about being a perfectionist. That's why we did it on the back. My final product, I promise y'all, is about to be perfection. So what we're going to have to do with this is do the same thing with what we did with what we did with the paper. So we're going to have to use our scissors or an X-Acto knife and cut these letters out. And then the final product is what we'll be ironing on our shirt. So let's get started. I used these two little stickers randomly that I had in my room to put markers on the shirt. You can use whatever you want. You can mark the shirt if you want and just iron over it. But I chose to use these stickers so I could just peel them off when I'm done. And you have to take the white backing off, don't forget. Take off the white backing, place it on the shirt, and iron on. So make sure your settings are correct and it's not too high. You don't want to burn the material that you're trying to iron. And place something in between like this little pillowcase. And voila! Who said you ain't go to the Nike store, okay? Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you liked how this turned out, give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.